This is Illinois Radio with Biko, Illinois Jones, and Pretty Riot going down right now. Yo, Rick, you did it again, my dude. And again, make sure you subscribe to our podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Hit that subscribe button. Rate, leave a review. And for those watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Stay in tune. Stay updated. And uh, you know how we like to do it this time. We got a special guest in the building. Yeah, we'll make some noise for the homeboy, T.T. Yeah, T.T. All right. Let me get a little clap, 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 clap. All right. What's going on, my guy? Man, how you coming? Man, it's good to have you up in here, man. I want to say, man, I think when I was at Windy City and we got up, uh, what was the name of it? Uh, Don't F Up the Rio. Yeah, yeah. And we got that joint and J.R. Bang, I think J.R. Bang had gave it to me. And just listening to you, man, you just was so like, it was a vibe you was creating, man. I want to know like the influences of music. Where did you get it from? Uh. Don't don't F up the real. I see we can't curse too. So but don't F up the real was the first mixtape that I did. And at the time it was just like I always wanted to do music. But like, you know, Jeezy was a big influence of what making me want to rap because I like I was just mess with it so hard. You know how you just keep rapping somebody else like, like I could do this, you know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. So that was one of them. That was one of them for real. That was like the biggest one though. What what is it about uh Jeezy that, you know, like motivated you to start doing what you do? I mean, he was straight. He was straight street, and I, I felt that it was real. Like I never knew him, and I felt that it was real. And I was like, I could tell a real story that I know real, and maybe people can gravitate to it the same way, you know? Yeah, you di- you ain't lying. I I was listening to you know your album from old to new, and I felt the like I felt that Jeezy feel, and to hear you say it, I'm like, okay, cool. My vibe was was yeah. telling me something right. So that's that's dope. That's that's super dope. Do you vi- uh, visit Atlanta often? Yeah, yeah, I be in the A all the time, man. Shout out to my, my brothers out there, uh, duct tape, duct tape. Yeah, I heard you mention Atlanta a lot, you know, within your music, like Zone 6 and things of that nature. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the environment, you know, difference between Atlanta and, and Chicago? Do you do you see a difference at all? I mean, me being in the hoods, I really don't see that much of a difference no more. But uh, when I first started coming, I just seen that everybody was working with each other, and they, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they send a ladder down, you know what I'm saying? When they when they got the people in power, they send a lot of right back down, and we don't really do that. That was the, that's the only real difference. Other than that, it's the same thing, same vibe. Yeah, I agree, I agree on that. When I went to Atlanta, the vibe was definitely the same. With the there's a lot of shows, uh, a lot of artists, creatives. You bump into so many people, but I, I did. I definitely felt like me being out there. If I felt the difference, if people wanted to work, people wanted to collaborate, yeah. compared to here's. It's a little different. I'm not going to say it's bad. Yeah. But, you know, we, we definitely have a lot more artists coming together. Yeah, we getting there. We yeah. getting there. We definitely, you know. A lot, I, of, a lot of artists coming together. And I know you've been doing it for a minute since since the Don't F Up the Re Up until now. You've made your way to work with some of the hottest artists in Chicago and coming up artists in Chicago. You know what I mean? Do you feel like you bring that energy back to the city when you, by, after being out there for so long, you decide to bring it back? I mean, I've been been on it. I've been on it. I always want to see people get on. I feel like if I can make you whatever, I can make you a star, a million, whatever I can make you, I feel like I can always reach back to you and get that back from you. And if I can't, then, you know, you just showed your card. You know, show how much of a player, how much real one you is, you know? And this is how I feel about it. If somebody pulled that card on you, would you still see yourself working with them in the future or is it just uh, nah, burn bridges? I don't care how big they get, I wouldn't do it. I, I can't mess with no uh, F nigga. I hear no. that. <laughs> you, in, this, in this music thing, you've been consistent with putting out music every year. Like, you know, some people yeah. take breaks, but every year you drop in a project. And the multiple. You know I mean? At that. You and dropped two projects in 2017, uh, two in 2018. I mean, my and bad. I mean, 2019, super consistent. I mean, you, you, got the, you got the stats, man. Yeah. You about to drop two this year, too. And you dropping two this year. Yeah. What, what's, what's the, what's, what have you learned since Don't F Up the Rio? Uh, man, I learned not to be just spending your money in, in, in dumb places. Like, whenever somebody, you know what I'm saying, trying to offer you something, like, man, just see it through, man. Just do you and just stay consistent. Like, because I, I started off just spending money, just spending money, spending money, just thinking, like, oh, we're going to get on, we just spent $1,000. Oh, we're going to get on, we just spent $3,000. And, like, it wasn't working. And it's working more now just staying consistent other than spending money here, spending money there. And it's like the people coming to you for for the love now. Like, I messed with you. Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? So I just learned to just stay consistent, man, and 
Stay down till you come up. Mm. Mm-hmm. What what um you know for artists that's jumping in the game in the industry, what would you tell them to stay away from when they come to invest in their money? Man, psh, stay away from them scams. I just got a thousand on my email right now and my DM right now. And I I, just, I I was playing with him for a second. <laughs> like, if we got time, I can tell y'all a couple of <laughs> Hey, them. go ahead. Right? Go ahead. So one dude, man, he just tell me, like, man, I can get you on this woo woo, this little, this little website. Um, just PayPal me. I say, all right, bet what city you in? Now, I'm looking at his pictures. He's it got Hollywood. I'm playing with him. I know he bull. You know what I'm I'm like, man, what city you in? He say, uh, his, his stuff say Hollywood in uh, L.A. So I'm like, I'm out here. I'm out here now. What's up? He like, no, nah, I'm in Vegas. I said, well, I'll be out there tomorrow. He's like, I'm like, you gonna be able to put me straight up on there? He's like, no, nah, man, you gotta just send the money. <laughs> <laughs> send the money? Oh no, nah, man, we can't do that. Boy, I'm from Chicago. Why was about to say you can't finesse? City of finesse. Oh, right. man, stop it, man. Big cap. I'm already knowing they capping. I ain't on that. But it's just like it's just a bunch of scams. Just stay away from all the scams, though, man. What would you, you know? Uh, I guess what what's the best outlet to put your investment at? Like, what would you tell artists that's coming up to invest their money in? And they sell. And they self, you know, just keep, uh, if you got a bad studio time, bad, you know, if you got a, if you ain't got no dope producers and you see something that you really, really like, then, you know, pay for the beat if you got to pay for it and, you know, and pay for good quality videos because quality over quantity always wins. Facts. Facts. And your music is by far quality. You, your sound is industry ready. I'm listening to it in the car. Even my, my girl, like, he dope. The, uh, your sound is is pure, bro. It's I rock, I can't say the F word, so I'm gonna say I rocks with it yeah, fully. Love, bro. I mean, I try to. I put. Out, I just. I do a lot of music, and I do a lot of songs I don't like. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, my homie, them might like, and I be like, Nah, I ain't messing with. It. At the end of the day, it got to go through me. I got to be. You know, I got to be cool with it before we put it out. So I just do a lot of music and pick ten or fifteen or whatever we gonna put on the tape and mm. go from there. Hope everybody rock with it. What does your recording process usually look like? Yeah, just rolling up. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like guys waste a lot of time in the studio doing that? Like, if you yep. buy buying studio time, like, then you got to get in the studio. You got to roll up. You got to get high. I mean, we ain't got. I ain't got to get high first. I'm getting high while I'm while I'm, right, while I'm recording. Okay. Like that's it. Like so. So soon we roll it up. I, one of my homies he rolled fast. So I be like, fool, you roll me one. He tch, quick. Oh, you got a go okay. You got somebody roll rolling on no, payroll. Roll. <laughs> no, I, I, can't, I can't call him that. He one of the guys. He, he, he was like, man, boy, you know that roll. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he just rolled one up for me, man. No, just no plan his part, man. Being there for me when I need him. Yeah, because time it. is money. How long do you studio? usually spend in a studio? Uh, or do it depend on just, like, the type of mood you're in? Nah, we we used to do four hours, but now we're doing uh, six and tens now. What's a ten-hour studio session like? Like, is that tiring? <laughs> tiring. <laughs> Super tiring. You got to have the food ready. You got to have the uh, drinks if you're going to drink. You got to have the smoke. You got to have everything ready. Because you don't want to leave out. Because now you just wasted an hour, right. maybe even two. Because it's gonna take you time to come up with something when you get back. So you don't break it down. Like you don't do. You know you don't book ten hours and just break it down. Maybe five this day and five the next day. Nah, I will be trying to. Like if I do ten, I'm gonna just do them all that day. And it's like, like I say, all that morning I'm just be going to get everything. It's myself. Like I'm just going to get everything. I'm going to grab the food because I don't really eat different. I don't really eat meat none of that. So vegetarian. Not vegetarian yet, you know what I'm saying? I'm a pescatarian right now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I want to make sure I say this. Don't, don't snap on me. Nobody that's listening is it fish. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Cool. Only. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I yeah. got it right. But yeah, I just, I just try to go get all my food that we're gonna be eating for. The, well, I'm gonna be eating for the day, and everything, and just go crazy. Hey, I rocks with that, man. You know what? Let's actually get into some of your music. We got a uh, two ways from you. Break down two ways and who produced it. Two ways produced by Crankmaster, my dog, man. He one of the hardest in the city. Uh, two ways came upon just just knowing the real. Like it's only two ways, you know. It is or it ain't right or wrong. You know how I many times you've been in conversations, you be like, uh, maybe or I probably or no, nah, man, yes or no. You know what I'm saying? So see the two ways. Let's get it. Right here on Illinois' Via Logic Radio. We be right back at you. Make sure to check out the Ill List playlist in which we provide you with the latest tracks we play live on our show. Head over to Spotify and search Illinois Radio to follow our playlist as well as follow our podcast. Now let's get back to the show. And you are back in tune with Illinois Radio. You know the voice is your girl Pretty Right. If you are listening in your earbuds right now, make sure you subscribe on that Apple Podcast and Spotify. I can never do that. <laughs> I'm going to get it right together one day. Subscribe on Apple Podify. Apple Podify. 
Say it now. Get it out now. <laughs> the one get thing I'm trying now. not to say. Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, wherever your favorite streaming service is, make sure you get in tune with us. Also, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you click that subscribe button. You feel me? Because why would you ever want to miss a beat with us? Okay. All right. So we're going to get back into this interview with Young TT. So I just want to know, like, how did the, okay, so we just listened to, we just listened to YNS. So how did the, like, connection between you and Bum J come about? Because that's not an easy feature to get. Show sure lane. I mean, uh, blood just ain't the real in me. You know, he just, uh, really hit me up. You know, Shake, his brother, had told me, like, he was going to be messing with me. And I didn't even believe him. He's like, man, man, fool, rocking with you, bro. I, I've been sending him all your stuff. And then when he touched down, he just hit me up in a DM like, bro. Matter of fact, he posted up the uh, he posted up the MVT uh, mixtape, and when he posted it up, he was like, uh, he like, man, it's hard. I was like, man, let's work. I just shot my shot in the gate. Let's work, fool. He like, let's do it. And we went in there the same night. I'm like, I had to kick some people out the studio. I mean, it was somebody else's studio. I'm like, hey, bro, I pay for your studio time. I need the studio tonight. And then so just so happened. Fat Trill was in town. I messed with Fat Trill. I've been messing with him. On the yeah, he did yeah, that. Yeah, he on the project too. too. He was in town. Boy, Big Shrill. All us went in the studio. Even Lil Reese was in there. Belay. Everybody. It was a bunch of artists in there. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make that happen more. Like that was like five, six, seven artists in the building in one night, and it was just hard. It was an epic night, like epic night. So. Okay, speaking of shooting your shot. <laughs> so our ill talk topic today was, um, do you think a woman should shoot your shot? So I would like to know your input on that. Do you think women should start shooting their shots more? I think everybody should shoot their shot. It, 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 like, man, if you see something you want, you should shoot your shot. Go get it. Because at the end of the day, you might not see me again. If you want to shoot your shot right now, you might not see me again. So it's Thanks. like, guess what? You know what I'm saying? You lost your opportunity. What my boy say, uh, any shot not taken... It's a bad miss. shot. Miss. Yep. It's missed anyway. You miss 100% of the shots you don't, hey, don't look, take. Knowledge. He just hey, dropped. He just dropped the gym. He I just agree. dropped knowledge. For real, <laughs> y'all listen. For look, rewind that. Bring that back yeah. and play. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. So, yeah, ladies, do not be shy. Shoot your shot. For real. Shoot do it. something. Get it, man. Facts. I ain't seen too many chicks. I'm like, dang, I should shot my shot. Never seen her again. I'm looking at Instagram. I, don't, I can't even find them. Like, you just go up there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you're going on random profiles. No, no, I ain't going on random, oh. random profile. I'm just like, I see something I like. I'm like, man, she was nice. You know what I'm saying? And you know, if you you don't know, I don't know if y'all know, when you close to somebody, like, we're going to be in each other's um, explore page, like, yep. right now, just because we just close to each other. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Our phones. Like, I seen some dude, he rap, um, I forgot his name. But anyway, I'm looking at his um, video, and he's from San Diego. And he was, um, I, we both was in Cali at the same time. I forgot his name. I wouldn't, I don't want to keep saying it, but anyway, he walked in the, in the uh, Waffle House. I'm like, hey, homie, what's up, bro? I'm looking at your stuff right now. <laughs> he like, oh man, appreciate it. You know, we linked up from that, but it was like, man, that's crazy, you know. But I ain't know, I ain't know nothing better about it then. Damn. You know, so that be these phones, these algorithms. They be listening. Siri be listening. Man, man. Be listening. Man, you ever you ever notice phone, like, you man. can say you can say something. You be like, oh, this y'all. is. We talking about Jack Daniels, and then you go, you scroll on Facebook. Jack Daniels, 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 um, his like the most fashionable artist of Chicago. Shout out to Nayar. Big shout out to Nayar because that was a really dope little documentary that he did. Yeah. That was like one of the first and it was super dope. Yeah. So I really want to know do you feel like buying clothes is an investment to your artistry? Well, it is if you're a fashionable artist. You know, because we got some artists like Schoolboy Q, for example. Don't did you see that picture he just posted? And then, and yeah, and everybody <laughs> they was comment. Him. Like, man, you look like you always stink. Like, <laughs> But that's his look, though. That's his look, and that's why he feel. Yeah. And I know a lot of artists that feel like that. Like by me, like getting into the music, like I see a lot of art. Now J Cole been fly though. He yeah. he been investing. In, he he bad. He bad as. Man, I just but want J. Cole them, to do some with his hair. Hey. Just yeah, but the me. stuff he be wearing be expensive though. Don't let him fool you. Oh, it just real. ain't got no name on it. He's smart enough to not promote you because he, you know, he who he mm-hmm. is. You know what I'm saying? He just gonna put his stuff, put it out there like that. But 
Yeah, it is if if you're a fashionable artist though. But if you're not, then like you don't gotta spend too much money in it. You know what I'm saying? I, that's I love fashion. Like I'm I'm really getting into my own stuff. The blue the clothing line coming soon. So you know, and it's gonna be high end too. Ain't gonna talk no to us cheap, about that. No cheapy cheap. Uh, I just left LA right now, really working on it. Uh. What type of items is it? Is it going to be like streetwear? Is it going to be just like men's clothing, women's clothing? What should we expect from that? It's going to start off at men's clothing because I'm not uh, – uh, I, I could uh, style a woman if I wanted to, but I really ain't got no style list or no uh, no creators, no direct – no nobody to um, give me no direction towards the women's clothing right now. So I just got real uh, – I got a real eye for fashion for men, you know, so – and there. that's basically how it's coming upon, you know. And that's how it's if, if it go about like women, if you meet bump into that right yeah, person, if I bump into the right person you. who can help me, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's do it. But you know that that's a big market right there. The women, women is you the know, one. women yeah. gonna support. Yeah. The women is the one, but you got to think about it. The women wear uh, men clothes too. So do you know? So that's why I'm I'm gonna just make it all Thanks. around like unisex, unisex. You know, my man. Get What's a staple money? piece that you think everybody should own in their closet? That's a big question. It is. It's hard. Everybody shit on. I'm gonna just keep it simple. So it won't take long. A, a, a blue jean jacket, a jean jacket. I ain't got one. So <laughs> 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 I got a blue jean jacket. You got a jean jacket? I, ain't got I seen you in a jean jacket before, <laughs> man. I got a jean jacket. I, I used to have a jean jacket, but I ain't got one in my closet <laughs> right now. I gotta get one though. Yeah, I, I ain't never been to have it in there. We gotta yeah. get you a jean jacket. Bro. I gotta get a yeah. jean jacket, man. Ain't you never on my way. <laughs> man, they got some hard ones too. Yeah, like, they believe, yeah. they people be, man, people be yeah, people be trying to right. man listen, I be in all them stores, H and M, Top Shop, uh, Zara, every, all them stores, like all of them. I'm in all of them. Cheap ones, dispensable ones, every one of them. Because I'm gonna put something together that you're gonna be thinking that my pants probably cost a thousand dollars, but they really cost fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Where you get your style from? Like what influenced your style? Your, your whole look? It was just me, like all the time. Like my people, my, all my homies hit me up, like, "Hey, fool, this look right. This look right." Like I just always put it together. Like I ain't get that from nobody. Like just me. Just swaggy, your whole just so swag, would you ever yeah. go into actually like styling? Like if I be like, I need a stylist for this show. Can you dress me? Would you ever do that for people? Nah, I don't think <laughs> I do that. He can't get a sauce away in that easy. I can't do that. <laughs> But if you looking at me, and, and I mean you a woman, but if if a guy looking at me and they be like, man, I want to dress like fool, I want to dress like you, could you style me? Like, man, just keep watching. Like, put change some of the stuff up that I got on, and be like, I could put that with that. You know what I'm saying? And just mm-hmm. I ain't gonna tell you. I see that. He ain't gonna tell you. He don't want to get too much of the sauce. Yeah, yeah like, but that's, that's how I do sometimes. Though I look at some people, be like, oh, that's hard. Like, I'm, I'm gonna put that with that too. But I'm going to just change it up a and little bit. And you do it your own way. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do yeah. it my own way. Like, like, I ain't like. never seen a hat shirt before. <laughs> a hat shirt. <laughs> a hat shirt. I called it a hoodie hat. A hoodie hat? I thought, hat. I thought yeah. it was a yeah. hoodie hat yeah. shirt. Like, real, it, it is dope. It, it is came dope. came ahead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is there any uh, Chicago fashion brands you rock with? Man, I mess with a lot of them. I kind of don't. Well, I'll keep going. I'll go. Uh, I mess with the Inglewood Brandon. He just uh, started going crazy. My boy Al Jarrell, he got his Chat Town thing going on. Uh... Who else? Uh, Fashion Geek, of course. Uh, Icon. Yeah, they've been out uh, heavy. Yeah. Heavy, heavy. Leaders. Yeah, leaders. Uh, Bananas. RSVP. It's a, it's a lot of them, though. It's a lot of them. I, I can't keep going down the line because people are going to hear it and be like, man, you ain't shot. shot. Yeah, but you I forgot. Uh, FAF, for sure. I got to put them in there. FAF. And other than that, like, I don't. I can't really say everybody else, you know. Gotcha. But I mess with a lot of them, though. I mess with like, uh, Ron, Ron Lewis. Oh, oh yeah, Ron Lewis. Ron yeah. Lewis. I like this. I ain't even got a piece yet. Me and Post got up, but our time is linking up. It's like every you know? time I try to grab a piece, it's sold out. Yeah. So it, it sucks, but, you know, Ron Lewis be, be doing his thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to ask you, uh, let's get into bag music. Uh, how did bag music come about? Is it a label? You know, what is bag music? Yeah, that's the label. That's the label. Me and my homie was actually just sitting in the car. And uh, we we just like man we we was like man what should we call a label because this was when we first started and um uh, we first started and I was like man we we start our own label we gonna do our own thing because I I actually started with a couple more other guys and we all branched off and did our own thing and uh he was like we was like what should we call a label and then we, I was like man I'm talking about a bag I'm just talking about like everybody getting a bag I want everybody to get a bag and that's it. And he's like, man, bag music, let's do it like that then. I'm like, let's do it. 
I like, but Jeezy got a song like that. And then, you know, that's my influence. You know, that's who influenced me. So people going to think we stole it off him. It was so funny because a uh, dude was in a barbershop with me. He's like, man, what is this? You know what I'm saying? He's like, what is this? He's like, man, this nigga stole bag music from Jeezy. And I'm like, I'm sitting right next to him in the chair. <laughs> I ain't have my picture on that, on, that, uh, on that cover. So I'm looking like, he messed with me now. He, he rocking with me. So he like, man. Like, bro, it's hard, hard. He like, after that, wasn't nothing. I ain't got no hard feelings against him, you know, for saying it. But that's how I came upon though, just us chilling. So, and who, came up with it. Who's all under bag music? Is it just, it's just you? me right now? It was a couple people. It was a couple people under it. Uh, but uh, I don't want to talk about it. No, I understand. <laughs> I ain't going to talk about it now. What's, like, no free promo. <laughs> what's one of the most important things, like, you gained, I guess, as far as knowledge wise, from, like, starting your own label and just being a part of, like, the business side of music, being an artist? Uh, make sure you know the business. I really just learned some um, key points right now. When I just went to L.A. this week, I just went to L.A. for the whole week, and I learned some key points. So really learn the business. I got to really go to the drawing board and, uh, you know, re-strategize a couple uh, moves and steps I was about to take. But uh, just really know the business, because it's it's money in here, out here that you ain't going to be getting if you don't know it. You know what I'm saying? And you probably can run up your sack without a label. Oh, yeah. Like a lot yeah. of people getting millions and millions and millions of views and could have probably checked them about, a hundred thousand on their own, and Strength but their paperwork ain't right, so they ain't really getting it. Yeah, including myself, you know. Like, ooh, but actually, before we, I want I want to touch bases on that too. But I saw some speculations on like IG that you were signed to Rock Nation. Um, is you know, is there any affiliation there? Yeah, they cool. They they, they the family. Um, uh, we 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 got something on the table. We we still ain't the uh, lawyer. Still ain't hit me back with what he think about the contract yet so it's really distribution honestly it's distribution so bag music through yeah rock. through the, you know what I'm saying so it's like uh, we just talking distribution right now hey I hope it work out for you what does it brother. feel like to be in that position like with a, with a label that major like do that do that make you move differently because you you know you had that opportunity presented to you because most people don't come across that. The mm-hmm. only thing I move differently on is is uh, securing the bag and the bag is me myself. It's just staying safe, staying out the way so I can make sure I make this way for us, for my team, my family, and that's it. That's the only way I'm moving different. Other than that, I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, I'm I see, always do that. I definitely see you moving out here. And since the first time you came on the scene, you came on the scene at the time of when Chicago and the magnifying when the magnifying glass really got on Chicago music scene. And you know, you've been doing it for a minute and the fact that you just been so consistent with it and you built up a fan core to not fall into the negativity that most artists in Chicago fall into that's from the streets. How do you stay focused and away from that? Uh everybody going to do what they know. You know, I I don't know no negativity. All I know is positive vibes. I try to keep everybody around me, my whole family, and everybody in a positive position no matter what. I always tell them, no matter what, man, it's all good. You still alive, right? All right, we gonna, we going to figure it out. If I got to do it, if, if, you know, whatever way we got to do it, we going to do it. We going to figure it out. We just stay away from the negativity because guess what? If you die, that's it. Ain't no second chance. You know what I'm saying? So people think you're going to talk about killing, talk about the the homie who got killed on the other side of the block. Like, y'all two blocks away from each other. How, how, come on, man. You got to go to the grocery store with your mama. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got a car. What are you doing all this for? You feel me? So it's like, come on, man. Like, you got to be smarter. And and then I'm, and what's crazy is people think, think I'm older the way I move, but I'm, I'm really the same age as the Dirks and all of them, really. Like, we like. I'm 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 a time <laughs> yeah. age dog. Look mean, up how old different. they are. They got different ages. Look up how old they are. I just, you know, I felt the, <laughs> compelled to ask. I, I knew he was gonna dish that off. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I could take hold of it. Hey, yeah. I tried. Yeah, you did. You tried. I shot it. my shot. Yeah, we all <laughs> had a shot. I shot it. I like, tried yeah, to see I if I could like, get I the feel answer. Like if, if, if we was all we we was all could have been in school together. We all the same age. We all in a, in a four year span. No matter what, if you four years up or four years down, we could have been in school together. You know Facts. what I'm saying? True. So it's like we the same age. We should have matured at the same time. And you see, like with with him, and I don't like mentioning other artists, but with him, you see, he got up out of here. He wasn't stupid. I gotta go, man. I'm gonna die. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I'm gonna kill like, somebody. That's what I was going to ask him, like, uh, when you make it, do you see yourself staying 
in Chicago or oh, leaving? I'm definitely gonna have a crib in Chicago. I'm definitely gonna have a crib in Chicago, LA, and Atlanta. They're my favorite three cities, and I'm you know I'm gonna have a crib in all of them. But I feel like I'm gonna I'm stay here the most because my family gonna be here. I ain't moving to everybody. Thanks. I ain't spending that bag. <laughs> so do you think it's so do you think it's important? Because I know a lot of Chicago artists they get on, they leave, and they don't do anything to give back. I don't necessarily want to say like give back to the community, but is there anything you gonna put back into where you came from once you get on? I'm already doing that now. I've been doing that. Uh, we we just did a what that was a book bag drive on my block. We do really everything on my block be, or. Uh, I'm off 64th and Oakley, Baca Hood, to be exact. Uh, we do everything on there. Uh, shout out to my auntie too for uh, putting it all together, all the time. Uh, but yeah, we do that. We we get back all the time for the for the uh, the school, going back to school, turkey drive with Fake Tal. Uh, That's Fake Tal. He doing a lot of stuff for the community community Thanks. out here. Yeah, we 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 pull up on exclusive and get him whatever uh, for his turkey drive. I don't think I made it this year, but. I don't think I made it to neither one of them this year, honestly, but I was just too busy at the mm-hmm. time. And they really both sprung them out like the week of. And I was like, I'm out of town. I can't even make it up there, you know? So this is the only year I didn't make it. The only year I didn't like tell you wanted to. Do you feel to. like that's really important for artists to do and just people in general to do when they get on to come back and really make their presence known in the places where they came up from? It's about your heart. It's about what you feel like doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people don't don't care for other people. Some people don't care for to do nothing for nobody else but they self. And once they get there, they gone. But me, myself, I always had a heart knowing that, not just knowing that I'm going to get something out of it and I'm going to be blessed off, uh, you know, giving back, but just off seeing other people smile. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's something to make somebody smile. Like, uh, people think my character, because like, I don't show my personality on Instagram or Facebook and none of that stuff. I don't show my personality on it, but I'm really, like, a cool dude. Like, we have fun. Like, my homies, anybody around me, we have fun. We laugh. We kick it all day. You know what I'm saying? But... People don't, you know what I'm saying? You put out, you pretty much put out what you need to put out for exactly. the public to see. Exactly. So I've, what? So what you gonna put out that. for the people at this show? At Reggie's. Oh at Reggie's. man, the young experience, the young experience. So start off with the uh, the payments. It's gonna be three different um, ways. Uh, it's gonna be general admission. It's gonna be the uh, t-shirt package. That's when you get the admission with the package, and it's gonna be the experience when you you get the come backstage, you get to kick it with, uh, with me and the rest of the artists that I'm going to have on there. I ain't going to even say who's going to be on there. There's going to be some heavy hitters on there. But ain't ain't it's, I'm the only performance. They only just come out to show love. Uh, what else? Uh, it's it's so much stuff that I'm going to give out with the package, with the Young Experience package, that you ain't going to want to miss out when you see all the stuff that's coming with it. Uh, dope show. I think I want that. Right, yeah, he I said mean, experience. I, I feel like any time somebody put experience on it, I, I you know, you, you, you gotta have it. You gotta never have. gave a day. The date. Yeah, it's May thirtieth. May thirtieth. It's May thirtieth. I thought we talked about that. May thirtieth. We talked about it. Uh, off- yeah, 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 off- yeah. Okay, yeah. May thirtieth. Yeah. May thirtieth uh, at Reggie's Live, twenty second in State, twenty first in State. But this is your event. This it's is my event. Just me. Dang. Just me myself. All right, just put me down for the VIP for the, uh, the experience. experience. Right. The experience. And I'm gonna cash you out. Cash app. You got cash app? But I got you. We got all that. I got all right, PayPal. I'm PayPal. <laughs> it's correct. Uh, um, lastly, uh, you said you had. Pro- you want to talk about touch uh, bases on your projects that you you have upcoming? Yeah, no cap. Um, uh, we got young young nation. So that's basically like the uh, clash of us and Rock Nation. You know what I'm saying? It's like. I'm young in Rock Nation, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I, I feel like we're going to have all the paperwork cleared up by the end so we can do everything how we got to do it and go straight into that. That's the next project. Yeah, and after next. that, I don't have a name for the, the second one yet, but it's going to be something with Young because everything is Young. Young Jones, young. I'm hosting that. One thing I like <laughs> about you, I like the titles of your project. Yeah. So, yeah, like, how do you sure. come – I feel like titles be the most important thing. How do you come up with the titles for your project? Everything really about uh, what we uh, represent. Like real is real. Don't mess up the re up. Uh, yesterday just came upon. Really, only yesterday came upon because it was like I made the song yesterday, and I felt like it was so hard that the, the whole mixtape had to be yesterday. Oh. MVT most I valuable like trapper. Mm-hmm. MVT was most valuable trapper, and then Young was just the introduction introduction of Young and as me taking the TT off my name. But I'm keep I'm keeping solid. the TT. It just I'm about to yeah. say I'm about they to have all a solid time. projects. Yeah. Like, they super solid. Yeah. All of them. And another thing I could say before we get in um, to your shout outs and your social media, they're all solid, and most importantly, you didn't oversaturate anything yeah. at all. It's, it was a well 
planned marketing. Mm. So, like, you know, what's the background behind uh, your marketing for your releases? Man, my dog right here with me, TB. He um he he do a lot of help with it. My boy Rashawn, my artwork. He uh come he come through crazy. Uh, terrestrial actually, that's his IG. Uh, and that that's about really it. Like my homie, them a couple of my homies. I bounce ideas off them. Do y'all do you like jot things down? You guys yeah. set goals. Yeah, yeah, we we definitely jot things down. Cause we we putting so much down right now for this uh for the young experience that we not it ain't even about the money. You know what I'm saying? The money ain't nothing but right, re getting everything back that we put into it. You know what I'm saying? So man. it's just it be crazy, man. It be crazy, honestly. Like I just try. I I look at myself as a as an artist as a as a on as a signed artist already. Because I, I can do whatever they can do, you know? True. Thanks. So I feel like I'm a signed artist, so I, I want my stuff to look like a signed artist, mm-hmm. you know? And without, yeah. a, without a label. Yeah. This is the label. Bad Music is the label. I, I want to sign. I'm, I am going to sign artists and put them on this label. I just ain't. I'm focused on me right now, young. And you got to secure the bag, like you said earlier, which is yourself. Yeah, Thanks. exactly. Get that I hope people first. caught that. Yeah, no, that you a, are that the biggest yeah. investment yourself. and. I, I definitely appreciate you for coming through, chatting with us, my brother. Um, I want to say the first time I seen you was at YP event at the Wire. My dog, yeah. shout out um, YP. You had hit the stage that day, and yeah, we finally got back around. Yeah. Came through. Uh, I mean, give out your shout outs, let people know where they can find your music, uh, your social media platforms, all that, man. Bet. Y'all can find all my music uh, on all the platforms, all of them. I can't say one; it's all of them. Every one of them. It's out on everything. My social media, Instagram, Young TT. Uh, Twitter young t young underscore tt, and uh they need to give me that blue stripe set. It could be all young tts though, but all of them young tt y o u n g t e e t e e. Once y'all give me that blue dash, it all be together. Hey, you gonna get it, hey. Young Nation coming soon, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. We do have Mob Ties. We got your brand new joint you just released, Mob Ties. Break that down real quick for us. Oh man, Mob Ties came so crazy. Shout out my dog Hot Boy Dre who produced it. Shorty so cold. That's my shorty for real. Shorty too hard. No cap. He uh I don't I ain't even know him at all. He was just a producer who followed me on IG and I guess he put my music up cuz probably like a 2 years ago when people was putting my music up, uh I'll follow him back instantly, you know what I'm saying? So uh I guess that's what happened. I don't know how I started following him. But he started posting hard beats, hard beats. I'm like, sure. I'm like, sure, that's hard. Send me that. I, you don't even know how he look because he keep his face off of the ground. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, man, that's hard. Send me that. He's like, all right, bet. Let's link up tonight. We went straight into the studio. Did it straight off the top in probably like an hour. Me and Don Rob. Me and Don Rob. Don Rob. You know, y'all know Don Rob? Yeah, uh, engineer, I shout don't. out Don Rob. He was down there. To, uh, <clears throat> I heard of his name now. He was down there, he was down <laughs> there at the studio. Don, Don Rob. I mean, I did it by myself, but Don Rob, the uh, engineer. So Don Rob, Hot Boy Dre, we just came up, and all of us in the studio at the same time. And I don't let people hit my music till I come out the booth, cause I I got I had an uh, engineer put the headphones on. Okay. So we, me and him, just to be vibing. So we just went crazy like that, and mob ties, mob came ties about. came pop.